Revitalized Covington's thriving dining vibe went from hot to smoking with the addition of the Southern Hotel and Oxlot 9. Meticulously renovated, the Southern reflects its beginnings a century ago as a physical and spiritual retreat. Now the hotel writes a new history as a place to celebrate and play. The name of the hotel's marquee restaurant, Oxlot 9, recalls the past when the town was divided into small squares called Oxlots. Today, Oxlot 9 is rooted in the Gulf South traditions of its chef and owner, Jeffrey Hansel. How much of your personal history from Waveland, Mississippi is in this restaurant? Tons of it. Um, growing up on the coast, Gulf Coast, only 45 minutes from here, out on the beach, fishing, weight fishing, floundering, soft shelling, crabbing. You would just catch and cook. Oh, yeah. that's, that's what we did. And that's what he does at Oxlot 9 with his wife, Amy, creating a local vores lover's menu. Our cuisine is a uh, Gulf-inspired Southern fare, so it's, it's, it's inspired by the Gulf, by the seafood, by the plentifulness of everything, all the access to all these unbelievable ingredients. Chef Jeffrey's culinary experiences at places like Commander's Palace, John Besh's Luke, and Veranda on the Highland in Birmingham all built upon a lifetime of Gulf Coast living and loving. What are we cooking, Chef? Uh, today we're doing a bully base. Um, Do they use the word bully base in, in Waveland? Waveland? No, they didn't. They use, they use stew uh, or uh, court bouillon. Um, today we're lucky enough to have some Louisiana shrimp, some grouper out of the Gulf. At Oxlot 9, is we just kind of use whatever's in the season. We go with what's, what's coming out of the Gulf, what's fresh, um, and you can't go wrong. Every vegetable you see here uh, has come from a farm on the North Shore. And this is kind of be the base of the stew, kind of our aromatics. When you were cooking in Waveland and you'd add that stuff into a stew and stuff, did you know it was an aromatic? No. <laughs> no. I was just cooking. And that's still what the chef does today. Simple, authentic, southern cooking. In any good southern cooking, you gotta add butter at some point. And again, we are in the south, so we're gonna even fry our bread. What kind of bread are we frying, though? This, uh, doesn't... this is a Native American uh, fried bread. It's amazing that you're combining all these different kind of cultures in one dish. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we live in such a culinary diverse region. Um, I mean, you have all these influences. You have Native American, you have Creole, you have Cajun, you have your French, your Spanish, your Italian, um, your African American. Um, and again, it's all within this area that we call home. Look at that food. And now look at that man. <laughs> I was told early in my television career that you should not do TV with children, animals, and good-looking dudes that can cook. Welcome to the end of my television career. <laughs>